we'll be laying down on our back with the knees bent and pressing the feet flat on the mat. Relax your shoulders, arms by your side with the palms facing up. Maintain a little bit distance between your arm and the side of your body. Bring the chin down slightly closer to your chest to elongate the back of your neck. And once you are settled down in your pose, close your eyes and just breathe. Your relaxed, natural breathing in and out through your nose. body that are making contact with the ground starting from the soles of your feet your sacrum the back of your shoulders your arms the back of your hands the back of your head For now, just release the weight of your physical body onto the earth and accept the support of the earth. Place your right hand on top of your abdomen and your left hand on top of your sternum. Just feel and observe the rising and falling of your torso as you inhale and you exhale. tailbone in slightly so you are pressing your sacrum and your lower back gently against the mat and we'll move on into the next exercise that will help us to not only reconnect with our breath but also to start reconnect with the core so tailbone tuck in palms facing down take an inhale raise your arms up over your head and exhale to raise the feet off the mat. Inhale, straighten your legs to any degree. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, lower the feet back on the mat. And exhale, bring the arms down by your side. Tailbone still tucked in. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, feet up. Inhale, straighten the knees. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, feet on the mat. Exhale, arms down. Let's do two more rounds. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, feet up. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, lower the feet on the mat. Exhale, arms down by your side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, feet up. Inhale, legs straight. Exhale, knees bend. Inhale, feet on the mat. Exhale, arms down by your side. Straighten the left leg and point the left foot. So keeping your left leg engaged. As you flex your right hip to bring the right thigh closer to your chest. So we are not assisting the right leg with our hands. And again, 
you'll tuck the tailbone in slightly and also tuck the chin down bring it closer to your chest as you take an inhale and exhale to lift your back and neck and head off the mat and bring the chest closer to your right thigh keep breathing and with every exhale bring the chest closer to the thigh and the thigh closer to the chest exhale release back down straighten the right leg but keep it active by pointing your right foot and flex the left hip to bring the left thigh closer to your chest and again tuck the tailbone in pressing your lower back against the mat tuck the chin down inhale and exhale feel your back your shoulders and your head of the mat and bring your chest closer to your th uh, left thigh breathe and with every exhale bring the thigh closer to the chest and chest closer to the thigh and exhale release your back down on the mat straighten the left leg point the left foot and again flex the right hip bring the right thigh closer to your chest and this time you will place the fingertips of the both hands on top of the right knee tuck the tailbone in chin down inhale exhale again feel your back of the mat and this time press your fingertips against the knee and the knee against the fingertips as you breathe and hold the position and exhale to release your back on the mat extend the right leg point the right foot flex the left hip and place the fingertips of your both hands on top of the left knee tailbone tuck in chin down take an inhale exhale feel your back of the mat chest closer to the thigh and press your fingertips and knee the left knee against each other one more breath exhale release everything back down bend both knees coming back into Adha Shapasana and just place both of your hands on top of your abdomen and breathe and maybe you could feel your heartbeat also this time and on the next inhale roll to the side and press with your hands bring yourself up into a easy seated position cross your leg in front of you and wiggle your hips and feel that your sitting bones are making connection with the ground stand a little bit taller ribs in neutral spine relax the shoulders and place either your palms or for some of us maybe just the fingertips on the mat so shoulder relax and arms are straight Take an inhale and elevate the shoulders up towards your ears as you drop your head back and look up. Exhale, looking forward and this time press the shoulders down which also transfer the force into your palms pressing against the mat. Inhale again, elevate the shoulders up towards your ears, looking up. Exhale, look forward, depress the shoulders, hands pressing against the mat. Two more times, inhale, elevate the shoulders, head looking up. Exhale, look forward, depress the shoulders, inhale, and exhale. And relax, spread your right arm towards the right side and extend the right wrist so you are pointing your uh, right fingertips up towards the ceiling and with an exhale 
up, drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. And breathe. Then head back to the center, release the right arm. Extend the left arm to the left side. Extend at the left wrist to point the left fingertips towards the ceiling. And exhaling to drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. And then inhaling, head back to the center, release your left arm. Make a prayer by pressing the palms of your hands together. And this time, instead of putting the prayer in front of your heart center, bring it slightly lower. So you are aligning your elbow, uh, your wrist and your elbow, like so. And then push both hands to the right side. And then push to the left side, to the right, to the left. One more time to each side, to the right.
on the mat. We have arrived in all four position. Wrist under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and then press your finger pads and your knuckles on the mat as you lift your the base of the palms and the palms of the mat and press them back down. Lift the base of the palm up and down. Keep going. While you are lifting the base of the palms up and down. Last one and palms, knuckles, and finger pads pressing on the mat. Take an inhale and start to arch your lower back, arch your upper back, your neck, your head looking up, and exhale. Start to round your lower back, your upper back, and then your head. Looking down towards your belly button. Inhale, arch from the lower back. Upper back, looking up. Exhale, start from the lower back. Round. And bring your head to look down towards your belly button. Keep going, inhaling and arch. Exhaling to round. Hands to 
towards the knees, knees towards the hand. As you exhale, hand hovers the knees about one or two inches above the mat. Next, we will try some uh, balancing challenge. We will lift the hand and the opposite foot. So, lift the left foot and the right hand. Place them back down. And we will lift the right foot and the left hand. Place them back down. So, if that is too much, you are welcome to stay in this knee hovers and work on the strengthening. And keep pulling everything in, hands to knees, knees to hands. Otherwise, if you would like to continue to work on the also on balancing, we will lift the left foot and the right hand, place them back down, right foot, left hand, place them down, left foot, right hand, place them down, and last one, left foot, uh, right foot and left hand. And place them back down. Hold. Knees are still hovering. Pull everything in. Breathe. And exhale. Knees down. Untuck the toes. Sit back on your heels. And clasp your hands together. And rotate your wrist. To give them release after those works we just did. First, the circle. And release the hands. And we'll move into a prone position. Which means the back is facing up. And you will be laying down on your abdomen. Place the elbows under the shoulders. Forearm facing forward. Palms facing down. And bring your uh, eyesight to look onto the space in between your hands. Engage your legs, point the feet, lift the kneecaps up, squeeze your buttocks, engage your glutes. Breathe and tuck the toes. And with the next inhale, Start to round your upper back and feel your chest, your abdomen, off the mat. And then finally, lift the knees off the mat and we have arrived in the forearm plank. Similarly, keep everything pulling in towards your core. Breathe. And on the next exhale, Twist your hips to the right side and come into the outer side of your right foot and inner side of your left foot. Twist back to the center. Exhale. Twist to the left. Inhale. Center. Twist to the right. Inhale. Center. Exhale to the left. Inhale. Center. Exhale to the right and this time dip the right hip down to touch the mat for a bit and lift it up and twist to the center. Exhale, twist to the left, dip the left hip down, lift it up, twist back to the center. Last set, to the right, dip the hip down, lift to the center, to the left, dip the hip down, lift. Twist to the center and hold for a couple more breaths. Forearm plank. Exhale. Drop your knees. Untuck the toes. Place your abdomen, your chest on the mat. Stack the forearms in front of your head. And then and rest your forehead on your forearms. And breathe. Your arms, unstack the arms. 
arms and bring the hands under your shoulders. With the inhale, press, bring your belly button towards the spine. Engage your core as you press with your hands to feel your chest and abdomen off the mat. Adjust the distance between the knees and your hands, coming back into all four. And again, pulling everything in, hand to knees, knees to hands, without actually moving those body parts towards each other. Just pull everything in, engage your core, tuck the back toes if you haven't already, and exhale, hover the knees above the mat, and this time we will start to straighten the legs, and Send the hips up and back. Come into inverted V position or downward facing dog. You could keep your knees bent. Or if your hamstrings are feeling alright, you could start straightening the legs. Keep your tailbone uh, tipping upward. And slowly lower your heels towards your mat. And it's alright if the heels are not all the way and touching the mat. Press firmly with your hands. Breathe. And inhale. Start to walk your feet towards your hands. Come into forward fold. With your hands, grab your calf muscle. And gently pull the muscles up as you drape your torso over your legs. Keep your shoulders, your head relaxed. And release your hands by the side of your feet. We'll move back up into a standing mountain pose. But as you make your way up, I would like you to think of hinging from the hip and try to resist your, your pelvis into, into moving backward too much. So, this is the movement. Keep the pelvic stable and not moving too much towards the back. Hinging from the hip, inhaling and raise yourself up into mountain, take another inhale, raise your arms up, maybe looking up, exhale, arms down, hand, hands by your side. So we'll move into the vinyasa flow from the top uh, of the mat, but I will move myself towards the center and facing the camera so you could see me better. So standing mountain pose, feet apart, align the heels with the sitting bones, place your hands on your hips, start to shift weight towards your left leg, drive your left foot towards the ground as you flex your right hip and bring the right thigh close to your chest and open the leg towards the right side externally rotate the right hip and then from there we will internally rotate to bring the lower right to the to bring the lower right leg parallel to the mat and keep internally rotate as you circle and bring the right leg to the back Extend the right leg, start bending the left knee, and place the right toe on the mat, and come into your lunging position. So, in your lunge, pay attention to the front knee. If it tends to sway inward, what you'll do is engage the outer thigh muscle on your left leg to bring the knee forward so. link your thumbs together and pull the hand the hands apart so you are activating your arms as you raise them up over your head and exhaling side bending towards the left side Breathe. 
the knees parallel to each other but keep your left knee hovering few inches above the mat and open the left leg to the side so work on maintaining the right hip aligned with the right knee so you could stay here or if you could try and extend the left leg to the left side imagine there is a wall on the left and you are attempting to kick the wall with your left foot breathe Exhale, 
shoulder is still off the mat. Inhale, two bone. Exhale, half bone. Let's do a couple more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhaling up to both. Lower the feet and cross again the left leg in front of the right leg. Coming back into cow space. And this time we will press the hands down on the mat. Lift the hips, uh, lift the hips off the mat. And place the bottom leg, which is the right leg, right under the hips and tuck the right toes. We will not be sitting down on the right heel. And step the left foot, place it in front of the right knee, like so. And then rise up, stabilize. And we will twist the torso towards the left side and lower your hands or maybe yeah, just your fingertips on the outer side of your left leg. So this could be your twist. Just stay here and breathe. Or if you could connect your right armpit with the left knee and press the armpit and the, and the knee against each other, you can move into a prayer position and stay into prayer, twist of prayer. One more breath. And release the hands by the mat again. Walk the hands forward. And we will take an inhale and straighten both legs. You could walk the hands further about one foot away from the front from, from the front foot which is the left foot tip your body weight forward and start to float the back leg off the mat straighten the back leg so this is a half standing split you are welcome to stay here and work on the strength to hold this pose as you breathe if you regularly come into standing split then walk your hands closer to the front foot bring your torso lower towards the front leg as you kick the back leg higher into standing split take an inhale and bring the back leg towards the side keeping the leg straight and all the way and place the right foot side by side with the left foot back into your forward fold pull the calf muscle up gently using your hand and we'll raise back up into mountain pose again focus on hinging of the hips resist your pelvis from moving backward take an inhale and Rise up, inhaling one more time to bring the arms up, looking up, exhale, arms down, hands by your side. So if you have moved out slightly from your mat, then make your way back into the front, top side of the mat and we'll continue with the second side of the Hinyasa flow. For me, same thing, I will put myself in the middle of the mat facing the camera and feet slightly apart, heels under the sitting bones, hands at your waist, start to shift your weight, this time more towards the right leg, drive the right foot towards the ground as you flex your left hip and bring the left thigh closer to your chest. Open the left leg to the side by external rotation of the left hip. And then 
and internally rotate this time to bring the lower left leg parallel to the ground keep internally rotating as you circle the left leg to the back start to bend the right knee extend the left leg and slowly plant the left tiptoes on the mat behind you and come into high lunge so same thing just pay attention to the front knee if it tends to sway inward engage the outer thigh muscle of your right leg and pull the knees back into uh, facing forward direction and then hook your thumbs together pull the hands apart activate your arm muscle as you raise them up over your head and exhale side bending towards the right side inhale back to the center release the arms place the hands down and drop the back uh, knee and we will bring the front knee to join side by side with the back knee but keep the right knee this time hovering few inches above the mat and open the right leg towards the right side so work on maintaining the right the left hip on top of the uh, left knee so if you are stable on your hips on your pelvis you could try extending the right leg to the side again imagine there is a wall on the right side and you are attempting to push and kick against the wall with your right foot breathe and exhale lower the right foot down on the mat and this time we'll take an inhale raise your right arm up exhale spread the right arm under the chest lower the right shoulders and the right side of your head and extend the left arm in front of your head left hand left palm pressing down and breathe in your twist bring the left hand back by the side of your head press with your left hand and come up and we'll move into parigasana or gate pose on the second side inhale raise your left arm up and exhale side bending towards the right leg keep your chest forward and your left arm keep reaching towards the right side and breathe inhale back to the center place the hands back down bend the right knee and circle the knee forward bringing the right thigh close to the chest and keep circling to bring the right leg in front of the left leg both knees on the mat and the right knee is directly in front of the left knee spread the feet apart to create space for you to push the hips back and down sitting on the mat in a cow face position and this time place the left arm under the right and again you could work on pressing the back of your forearm against each other or make another twist to press the palms against each other whichever ones you choose you will inhale and raise the elbows away from the chest as you arch your upper back into a gentle back bend look up and breathe exhale back to the center and hook the arms and hook the legs and this time we will press 
feet flat on the floor, knees bent, hands behind your hips, take an inhale and push your hips uh, up away from the mat and come into tabletop, exhale, lower the hips, drag the heels in, dandasana with the hips off the mat, press strongly with your hands, feet on the floor, bring the hips towards the heels and both poses. Keep the knees bent if you prefer and then feet flat on the floor, push up, tabletop, lower the feet and lower the hips without touching the mat and drag the heels in, dandasana, variation with the hips of the mat. Feet down, hips closer to the heels, and both pose. So we will continue for a few more cycles, and you are welcome to try the next variation, which is a one-legged version. But if that's too much, then uh, use both legs. So this is the one leg variation. So place the right foot down, left foot up hands behind your hips, push up, one leg of tabletop, and then lower the hips without touching, drag the heels in, dandasana, pull the hips towards the heels, one leg of boat, switch, so this time left foot down, right foot up, inhale, lift up, one leg of tabletop, Lower the hips, but still hovering. Dandasana. One legged boat. Switch. Inhale. One legged tabletop. Exhale. Dandasana. One legged boat. Switch. Inhale. One legged tabletop. Exhale. Dandasana and last one, one legged boat and lower, both feet down and again cross the right leg in front, uh, actually over the left leg, come into cow space, press the hands down, lift the hips off the mat. And this time, bring the left leg under the hips, tuck the left toes, and we are not sitting on the left heel. We will step the right foot in front and place it in front of the uh, left knee. Come up first and stabilize before we twist the torso to the right side and place the fingertips on the outer side of the right leg so this can be your twist for today and we'll stay here or if you could connect the left armpit with the right knee and press the armpit and the knee against each other then you will make a prayer and stay in a twisted prayer one more breath hands down and walk the hands forward facing forward inhale straighten both legs walk the hands about one foot away from the uh, right foot shift your body weight forward and float the left foot up Half standing split. You could stay and walk on your strength here. Or if you used to practice the full standing split, you will walk, you will walk your hands towards the front foot. Drape your torso over your front leg as you kick the back leg higher into your standing split. Inhale, swing the 
back leg to the side, keeping the leg straight. Circle it around and place the foot, the feet side by side. Back into forward fold. Pull the up, the calf muscle up using your hands. Shoulders and head relax. Let the head hang. And on your next inhale, hinging from the hip to raise up. Resist your pelvis from moving backward. And reach your arms up. Look up. Exhale. Float the arms down, hand by your side. Take another inhale. Raise your arms up. Exhaling. Hinging from the hips. And lower into forward fold. Inhale, raise your torso off your legs. Stay lightly in your fingertips, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Start to bend your knees. And sit your hips down. And continue all the way down, resting your back on the mat. And we are back in the the first position that we did at the start of the class, which is Adha Shupasana. And before moving into full Shupasana, we'll do some release in happy baby position. So flex your hips, bring your thighs closer to your chest. And this time, we'll also want to Press the sacrum and the lower back down against the mat. As we lift the feet up, soles of the feet facing the ceiling. And drag the inner side of your feet with your hands. Again, remember to press your sacrum and your lower back. And also press gently the feet down. As if you want to bring your thighs and your knees to touch the mat. And just breathe. Happy baby position. And let's add some movement into your happy baby by swaying side to side. Still maintaining sacrum and lower back pressing on the mat. So it might not be a big side to side movement. You could try. Swing to the right and extend the right knee. Tap the right toes onto the mat or onto the floor. And then swing to the left. Extend the left knee. Tap the left toes. And to the right. Extend the right leg to the left, extend the left leg. This is optional. If this doesn't feel good for your hamstring, then keep the knees bent. And you could stay here for a bit longer. Or you could move into spinal twist. Or hugging your knees. Or by the Konasana legs, just spend the next uh, few, uh, one minute to move into any position that you like to get a further release. Ready? Extend your
your legs one at a time. Keep the feet apart, about mat width distance. Your arms are relaxed, palms facing up. Bring the chin down closer to your chest to elongate the back of your neck. And once you are settled in your Shavasana position, close your eyes and start to follow the rhythm of your breathing. Once more, accept that support of the earth and give your body permission to rest. Start to deepen your breath, take an inhale and exhale through your mouth, in, out through the mouth, let's do one more time, inhale and out through the mouth, wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Invite little movements back into your body. Bring your legs together and raise your arms over your head. Give yourself one big stretch and relax. Pull the thighs towards your chest as you roll yourself to your side and stay on your side for a moment. Keep your eyes closed. ready press up into easy seated position cross your legs in front of you reconnect your sitting bones with the ground sit taller ribs in shoulder relax inhale raise your arms up press the palms of your hands together make a prayer and lower the prayer into the center of your heart and thank you for joining this class namaste